And welcome back. Well, this past week, an adorable, recently born seal came ashore in Hampton Bays. Its appearance so soon after being born, though, is raising some questions about how did it get here and whether we're maybe seeing a change in its breeding grounds, perhaps even closer to Long Island. The newborn seal was spotted Monday near the dunes on Ponquag Beach. Marine biologists quickly decided to leave the four-week-old alone, not wanting to stress it out. If they come up and they're just doing what seals normally would, which is sun themselves and, and just trying to rest, then we don't want to interfere in their behavior. The big mystery here is how this young gray seal pup wound up on this beach when normally their breeding grounds are found much further north. The uh, pupping area for them right now, um, one that's been monitored extensively, is off of uh, Nantucket. D. Giovanni believes it's too far of a distance from Nantucket for the baby seal to have traveled, so now the search is on for evidence their breeding grounds have moved closer. Uh, the evidence that we would really need is to say that an animal is pupping here is seeing an animal uh, being born. Despite the frigid conditions, the mystery of where the baby seal came from from Drew local Lori Anderson. Uh, I've been here my whole life and I've never seen a seal on any of these beaches. We're going to go there and look to see if we see any more of its tracks or see if it's still in the area. Using binoculars, D. Giovanni searched for the baby seal but concluded it likely returned to the sea with high tide. He hopes locals will keep looking but cautions against getting too close. It is against the law for you to get closer than 50 yards from these animals, so we uh, definitely encourage the public to stay back. Don't get close to them. Don't take photos. Instead, D. Giovanni says call the 24 hour hotline for the Riverhead Foundation for Marine Research and you may help solve a mystery. You never know. Now, it is a rare event. The last time a baby seal this young was seen around here was in 2011 off Montauk Beach. And joining us now is Rob D. Giovanni, executive director, senior biologist with the Riverhead Foundation for Marine Research and Preservation. Welcome to the show. Thank a lot you. of people envy your job, you yeah. know? Well, it's a great job. Right. Well, you don't always get the positive results, and we'll talk about that as well, because people really do care about marine life, and we're seeing that, especially on Long Island, how many volunteers you have that come out. But since we last talked, anything uh, new about this baby seal? Has it been spotted anywhere? Well, we haven't see had any more calls uh, about the baby seal coming up, uh, but since we have spoken, we have had uh, a turtle that came up on, was called in on our beach, so we're still seeing other animals coming up. Unfortunately, that animal... Um, what washed up and it was not able to be revived, but we are still getting them to come up into our, our water. So, yeah, you see some of the uh, sea turtles that are an endangered species, uh, most of them uh, that have been rescued by you folks uh, over at the foundation. And uh, but unfortunately, that's not always the case, is it? No, it's uh, not. It's not always the case at all. And and what's really important to get, uh, we couldn't do this without public support, and we mean that not just in, in supporting our organization, but walking our beaches and finding these animals at the right time and doing all the right things. Know that they're protected, know that you need to stay back from the animals and call us and call our hotline. Yeah, we'll talk some more about that and the sea turtles because we've seen quite a phenomenon there. But I want to go back on the seal for a minute. You know, some folks asking us, why didn't you remove it from the beach when you saw it? Was it healthy? Well, that's a very good question. One of the things that we need to do when we go out and we get a call about an animal on the beach is determine whether or not it is in need of care. Because when we bring them into our facility, obviously it's a different environment. It will be stressful for the animal. So we want to make sure that the animals that we bring back are in definite need. In this case, this animal was moving around. You can see from the video it was uh, moving around, looking around. So we, we um, went through our protocol and it looked like the animal was going to be able to, to do what it was supposed to do as a seal. How rare is this event to see a, a baby that young uh, compared to the fact that they're usually up off the Massachusetts coast hundreds of miles away? And, and what does that raise? What, uh, explain more about why that raises questions in your mind. And, and if they are moving their breeding grounds, where would they possibly be moved to? Well, that, that's a really interesting question for us is um, how are these changes in the, in the population occurring and are we seeing animals that are moving closer to where we're seeing them on these known haul out sites, which is where seals will uh, come out to rest. And we see some of those on Little Gull Island, which is along the North Fork, off the North Fork of, um, of Long Island. It's just east of Plum Island. Oh. And so we're seeing a large number of animals that are showing up on, on those beaches uh, during November, December, January, February, March, which is when gray seals will pop. So one of the things we want to look at is try to do more surveys and, and see if we're seeing these animals in those areas. Yeah, and, and there is a federal law that we should point out to people wanting to get, get so many people out looking for stranded marine life. What's the point of that law? What is the reason for it that they want you to stay away like that? Well, the main them? reason for staying away is so that we don't interfere with the animal's normal behavior. And, and that's so often we go out, we find something that's interesting and we get too close monitor these animals from afar, observe them from afar, and don't change their behavior because if you have a seal like this one that's young and it's up on the beach and it's resting, we could 
scare them back into the water, and then they'll use up whatever energy they have that they needed, and that could end up being detrimental for the animal. Doing more harm than good, even though they're sincerely trying to help. Now, uh, <clears throat> you know, we've seen these phenomena in the last year, and it's always hard to pick out one season and say, oh, it mm -hmm. means anything. But clearly we've had these uh, warm temperatures. We've had warmer temperatures in the Long Island Sound of several degrees over the last couple of decades. That's significant. That's not uh, just a one-year phenomenon. Seeing things like, <laughs> you know, dolphins and mm -hmm. whales and sharks uh, all over the place that we haven't seen in the past. Uh, do you think warmer waters are having an effect on some of the phenomenon that we're seeing? Well, it's definite that the habitat that these animals uh, occupy, whether it be warmer or colder, um, have changes. So whether or not warmer temperatures bring different animals in or if you have different food sources that are in there. And that's what makes this job really exciting is, is that we're able to look at what's going on in the environment real time. So we're seeing things like the dolphins or whales in Long Island Sound. We're seeing turtles that are showing up and maybe staying longer. But that's the consequence, too, is you've got turtles being fooled sort of by, uh, think, by the warmer waters, thinking it's okay to stick around when they should be heading south, mm -hmm. right? And so they're getting cold stunned. Explain that term, too. Well, cold stunning is when a, a sea turtle is in our waters when the water temperature drops below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So if they stay around too long and the water temperature drops, uh, then they'll become hypothermic, which is the same thing as, as what we would encounter. They, their body um, processes slow down, so they can have animals that have one or two beats per heartbeats per minute. Uh, they basically float on the surface. And this is where we can actually make a difference, whereas the public going out and walking these beaches, we know that these animals, when they become cold sun, will be pushed up on our beaches. And if they go out and walk, we'll, we'll be able to find them. Are they more susceptible to this than, say, seals or sea lions because they're cold-blooded? Yes, that's exactly why they're more susceptible. Because their outward body temperature reflects their outward environment, they're the, the species that we're going to encounter. And we have uh, endangered species such as the Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. We have uh, the green sea turtle and loggerhead sea turtles that are all animals that we would see washing up. Of the seven species of sea turtles found worldwide, we have four of them that, encounter, that we can encounter in our waters. Well, you got to figure warmer waters had something to do with it because you had a couple of dozen. Was it about 40 that showed up? Yes, we, we had uh, 41 animals that showed up this season, and we had the largest number of animals show up in January, and we were even able to revive one of the animals that, that stranded in January. Um, and it's on its way. It's a Kemp's Ridley, and hopefully it's on its way to being released in the summer. Well, we like the positive stories. You were able to uh, save about a third of those that mm -hmm. uh, showed up, and that shows that it does make a difference what you're doing over there and the folks that are helping you. But call the hotline. It's listed on their website. It's also on our own website. Uh, if you just click on our links. You can find it. Rob D. Giovanni with the Riverhead Foundation for Marine Research and Preservation. Thanks for explaining these sightings and what to do with some of our fellow inhabitants of this planet. Thank you.